morning everyone happy friday we are going to be spending the day in new york city and i'm so so excited it is a pretty chilly day today i think it's like 26 degrees so we're about to bundle up first things first is i want to do some makeup i obviously have already put my hair in rollers i made my morning little cup of coffee and look at how cute this little mug is it is a heart-shaped mug i'll link it down below for you it's valentine's but i think i'm going to use it like literally all year round i am so excited about this video i am just like pouring my heart and soul into my 2024 content and i just can't cannot wait just to share today with you. Last night I asked you on my YouTube and my Instagram stories what type of things you want me to do in today's video because I want to obviously do things that y'all want to see. New York is such a beautiful space and has so many amazing opportunities and things to do where I want to do as many things that y'all want me to do today. So I screenshotted some things and we are going to be taking your own suggestions on what we should do today. Let's go ahead and finish up our skincare and put some makeup on and chit chat this morning before heading out into Manhattan. First thing I'm going to do is ice roll my face because I haven't done that yet today. I hope all of you have had a fabulous Christmas and like holiday season. I'm finally getting back into my routine after just like all of the chaos and memories made throughout the holidays. I feel like the holidays are so chaotic, but I love them. Like I love how chaotic and like crazy they are, but I feel like I haven't been putting myself first. Like I've just been like going, 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 trying to catch up on work, visiting friends and family. We're traveling back to Alabama at the end of this month because I'm actually judging a pageant it's actually the pageant i won last year and now i am head judge for it which i'm so excited i have never been a judge like in this sort of aspect i've been a judge for like school pageants but this is like legit like whoever wins this pageant goes on to nationals in hollywood florida so i am stoked to be judging it i also am going to be vlogging that whole entire weekend like pageant weekend even though i'm not competing i feel like it's going to be like more fun because i'm not going to have any stress on me like i'm literally just going to be judging the pageant how fun we go back at the end of this month and trying like to plan out to see everybody like while we're there because we didn't get to last time we were there it's like it's been crazy but today we are having a full like it's not really like a self-care day but just like having a good girls day like just us hanging out doing things y'all had a lot a lot of good suggestions Elle has decided to join the girls day are you making biscuits she's such a queen you look so beautiful. Oh yeah, get those biscuits, girl. Make them fresh. Weekend, let's grab a plane out of here. Go up to the NYC, baby. It's crazy, but let's go. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I don't care. First suggestion we're doing is from Liana and she said makeup chit chat So I feel like I have not been able just to do my makeup and chit chat with y'all in a hot minute So just went ahead laid out my makeup and we're just gonna chit chat this morning before getting dressed to head out I also forgot to plug in my phone last night and it's on 20% So we're just gonna sit that over there too. I have been wanting to do a, like a little updated like get to know me I feel like I haven't even done a get to know me on my YouTube like at all I did one on my TikTok not that long ago, but I think that would be like a fun kind of like chit chat get ready with me i could do on my channel i just prep my skin and reheated my coffee how many times okay if you're a coffee or like tea drinker in the morning how many times do you reheat your coffee until you finish it serious question because i take forever forever to finish my one cup of coffee will is working in office today he has been like transitioning into working full-time in office not remote he is just like the type of person that needs to have like an office is like a workspace like with other people around him basically like he did not like the work at home lifestyle it is not for everyone i get that i'm always petrified when i put this on my face but i'm gonna get it on my pajamas so he's been like slowly moving this week he just worked two days in office so that's why we're having like a little girl's day normally i would like bring him along for like my vlogs but i put off today because we we're like going to go shopping and like walk around the city which he loves new york like he really fully has just enjoyed being in New York with me and just like us making our own memories like it really has become like our place really but he doesn't like sightseeing as much as I do or like going shopping obviously so that's why I was like I told him last night I was like I'm gonna have a day in the city tomorrow he was like really he was like what are you gonna do and so we were talking about it he was like I'm so excited for you 
this morning like right before he left he put on the heater because it's been chilly here like it was pretty warm when we had family visiting for christmas like it was like in the 40s 50s like it was not bad at all but now that it's in like mid 20s throughout the day it's gotten our apartment really really chilly so i woke up and it was so warm in the apartment i was like oh my gosh bless your soul for that is anyone going to see the mean girls maybe i want to go see it so bad it comes out on my birthday weekend the day before my birthday the mean girls movie comes out and i want to go see it so bad will also loves mean girls so i think it we could like make a little fun night out of it i'm obsessed with brene rap i have been obsessed with her since she performed mean girls on broadway and i'm just like i'm just so proud of her i act like i know her in person i don't but i feel like i do like she's just killing it like she's just like really just doing the dang thing so proud. I went TikTok live for the first time on New Year's Eve. I vlogged it. If you didn't watch my New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day vlog, you should definitely go back and see it. It was so much fun. I don't know why I had so much anxiety and stress about it. It was so much fun and I want to go back on there and do like another live. I got questions why I don't go live on YouTube or Instagram. It's just not as popular to do those two platforms because the platforms do not promote it the way that TikTok does. TikTok normally alerts your followers like, hey, like Lauren is going live come join YouTube and Instagram do not do that they don't do that at all I think you have to like select the people you want like to share the notification with and I have the most followers on TikTok so it's easier for me to get more people on there to chat with people than it would be on any other platform and because TikTok live is just so big it just made sense but while I was on that TikTok live this is where I'm going with it I was listening to like my top songs of the year and a lot of them were Renee rap and I was like oh my gosh and I started talking about her and I'm just like just like a little proud mother moment for real i also forgot that this still has purple on it from new year's eve and so i just put purple on my eyelid i just got done snapchatting my best friend maddie about this and i'm very curious to know if you guys feel the same i feel like lately tiktok has been so draining like it's just been such a negative space and like maybe it's just my for you page i don't know but i just feel like it's just been so much negativity it's been draining me like i just am not really liking it it's either other people being rude about other creators or about like just what other people enjoy doing or it's people trying to sell me something that i don't want like don't get me wrong like i think some things on tiktok shop are worth buying like that little filter shower head thing that has changed my hair while living here so much but like i don't want it to be every video someone is trying to sell me something i don't know i just feel like it's not the platform it used to be and i don't know like if this is just like a wrong turn and like we just have to like kind of go through the motions but i don't know i don't know if anyone else has felt that way but i feel like every time i get off of tiktok i just feel worse about myself i feel completely drained it makes me leaving just like icky and there's just like so much negativity <laughs> not just like on tiktok like just in the world in general and i feel like i mean obviously i know that it's not like i just came to this realization it's just so sad for me to see like how much negativity is spread online across people who don't even know each other and they think that that's a good idea like to tear other people down i don't know i feel like i'm just like ranting about it but i've just like tiktok has just not been a space where i've wanted to be lately i don't know if anyone else is feeling that way at all also i was featured in alabama wedding magazine Okay, so when I was still living in my college town in Alabama, I got asked to model for Alabama weddings and I was so excited, but I couldn't share anything about it. I couldn't talk about it. I did like a little video of like me prepping for a photo shoot, but I couldn't talk about like what the photo shoot was or anything. And it just came out and it is so cute. I got to wear like these beautiful like ivory and white dresses. I got to have like my hair and makeup done. I was holding these like extreme extravagant cakes. It was like my portion that I modeled for it was like the cake and I think like not like cutlery but kind of like like a like cake knives type thing like you would use it like at your wedding and like fine china and like all this stuff so it was so fun and I kind of forgot like what even the shoot really was like what type of shots they got because obviously like they weren't showing me it was just like they were just telling me what to do so when I saw that issue that came out on New Year's Day I was like oh my gosh that is so cool because this is the first magazine that I have been in that I've like modeled for I was in a couple 
couple other like smaller like student-led magazines in college but it wasn't me modeling it was more of like someone who like had interviewed me about like being a youtuber or whatever so it was so cool to see like yourself in a magazine also i have been battling <laughs> the thoughts of like wanting to buy a house like why am i thinking like that no but like seriously i have like just gone back and forth and i've done this my whole life my whole life i've done this where it's like what kind of life do i want do i want to live in a city do i want to just move to the country and live my little like suburban mom life like what do i want to do and i battled with this so long and lately i'm like well let's just buy a house in the country what? And then the next day I'm like, no, let's like resign our lease for another year. I don't know if anyone else has had these like <laughs> thoughts like in their 20s, maybe even later in life, maybe earlier in life. I don't really know, but I have just been like going back and forth. I'm like, should I download the Zillow app and just like see? Also, but like, is this a good time to buy a house though? Isn't the market still like really bad? Thought I may share that little piece of information or thought that I had. Got my lemon water. Let's finish up the makeup and then find a warm, cozy outfit for the day. Makeup and hair is done. We just have to figure out what to wear today, but I want to talk about the undergarments that I am wearing under today. I am partnering up with Skims for this video, and I talked about them last September. I have been wearing them religiously. I am someone who hates wearing bras just because I find them very uncomfortable and constricting. Since switching over to Skims, they are so comfortable. They feel like butter. I also love their panties and their thongs, but the bras are really just like... Chef's kiss. Skims is creating the next generation of bras and underwear for everybody. If you're wanting to treat yourself in 2024, this is the way to do it. Having a comfortable bra will literally change your life. It is definitely worth the investment. They're made with the softest material, so I feel like I'm not even wearing anything. Also, let me say I love how size inclusive they are. They are now available in 62 different sizes. It ranges from 30A to 48H. The first bra is this no-show online demi bra. I have it in the color clay. I'm not going to be trying this on because this is C through. This material is so soft and stretchy. Something I love about Skims is they have bras for every occasion and every girl. This bra is the Fits Everyone t-shirt demi bra in the color clay. I'm wearing the size 34B and it feels so good. The back clasp. Skims bras are made with innovative technology to give you the best shape. And last but not least, it's this one. This is the wireless form push-up bra in Jasper. Again, I'm wearing the same size that I did in my other one. This does not have any underwire. It's super comfy. It makes me feel like I'm not even wearing anything. And it also has a really Really great shape. If you know me, you know that this is a dream partnership to have. Go ahead, click the link down in my bio and you can get free shipping on any orders over $75. Also, when you do make your order, definitely be sure to click the little down arrow and tell them that I sent you from this video. It will be like a little survey after you complete your order. With that, let me go ahead and put on my outfit for the day so we can head out into the city. Okay, don't mind that we still have the Christmas tree up. I took all the decorations down last night, but I need Will's help bringing this to our storage locker. So tomorrow is the day that we're taking everything down and I actually like put it away we also have to get like a box for this because i kind of threw away the box that it came in rookie mistake i know okay so this is the outfit i have on right now i have some fleece lined leggings on along with my lululemon leggings i have on this like little turtleneck bodysuit with a lululemon puffer got my little julie boss earrings kendra scott ring and then this ring i think i got like for Sona, like several years ago i got this little jacket isn't it so cute i think that this is all going to be really warm because i have some layers on and we're going to be walking it's going to zip this up so cute so cozy i think i also may put on a beanie because my ears get so sensitive to cold either gonna put on a beanie or maybe some like earmuffs not too sure but this is a little fit i'm gonna put on some uggs to head out the door also need to pack like a little belt bag full of like my lip gloss my phone my wallet keys stuff like that i would much rather have a belt bag underneath like this i actually just got a new one let me show you i got this during the lululemon boxing day sale anyways it is so much easier to have 
your things on you in New York with a belt bag underneath your jacket just because like there are people who will like take things from you and like pickpocket you too so this always helps me especially like if I'm alone having a cute little belt bag underneath but I obviously haven't used this one yet so I need to like adjust adjust everything so here we go got everything I need besides my phone which is still on the charger so we're ready to head out and walk I did already make a little schedule because a lot of you suggested that I go shopping today and get like a coffee or show you like my favorite breakfast place and I love getting a croissant and a latte or a tea at Lottery. so we are going to be going to Madison Avenue and kind of just stay like on the east side of Manhattan today and go to some of the shops that I have been wanting to go to I'm treating this as kind of like a pre-birthday day kind of like just doing things and shopping for myself things that I haven't really done lately I have not gone like shopping and like going out like this in a hot minute so I'm so so excited let's go ahead and head on out I just walked through a street and they were filming for, like a TV movie something of the sort and I was like am I allowed to be passing through here if you want a good bar to go to in the city don't tell mama such a good one. It's like a piano bar. Um, who told my ex he could come to New York City? Someone told me they wanted me to go to Times Square. So here you go. Look at that cute little pink building. No, like literally these rats are everywhere. Central Park looks so sad with all of the leaves gone. I mean, she's still beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I miss the autumn leaves. is seeing fashion like different people what they're wearing and i just saw this group of three girls and they looked so cute and they all had on like these like little fuzzy hats and like little cozy mittens and like long coats and it's inspired me <laughs> it inspired me and now i think i need like their exact outfit where did the time go seems like yesterday we were the perfect combo Okay, we are one street away for our croissant and coffee. And here Out she is. Window. Now I'm losing all my sleep thinking about your ghost. I think you know. Maybe in a different life. Good, how are you? Can I get the Napoleon gift box? And can I also get a hot vanilla latte with a croissant? girlhood moment while in Lauderay. I can't wait to tell you about it later, but now we're going shopping. We are on Madison Avenue, so let's go ahead and see what they have for us to peruse. I know you're sorry, but when you kissed her, did you even think about me? Was it worth the night that you drank too much whiskey? We're going to the Nespresso store because I really want to get a little espresso pack to make my own lattes at home. I am running out of the ones that I just get at Target, so let's see what they If you loved me, won't know what could be. Maybe in a different life, we could be together, I'll be yours and you be mine. It just didn't work this time. I got some double espressos and some coffee pods. One is like vanilla and then one is caramel. Okay, next we're going to dip tea candles. How you feel? You just said you don't answer me. No. On a truth of a day, what will make you see? No. I'm the one thing you've always been needing. I can sit here and listen to the reason. Elizabeth said 
to shop at Love Shop Fancy today, so who am I to say no? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything, but if I see something, I definitely will grab it. Also, no one talked to me because I literally just spent $70 to $80 on that candle. So here is Love Shack Fancy. Last time I went into this location, they were very snooty. I'm trying to make sure I don't get run over. So let's hope that they're not snooty this <laughs> time. Last stop is Roller Rabbit on Madison Avenue, just because I want to see their like little pajamas and see if they have any new prints. Done at Roller Rapid, and a lot of you said you wanted me to thrift in New York City. Since I'm on the Upper East Side, I'm just going to stay up here and thrift. There are a couple thrift stores that I think we can stop by. The first one is Upper East Side Thrift Store, I think. I have like my GPS going, so let's go thrift in New York. I have never been this way in Manhattan before, so I don't know if this is going to be like a little bust or if it's going to be good, but it's worth a shot to see. She just woke up from a nap. I also just changed into something cozy and comfy because I felt so like constricted with all the layers on and it got so warm outside. I did not need that many layers. I did when I was walking there this morning. That's when I was like, oh, it's chilly. I was like, it is really cold. But I'm glad that I like wore what I did because it warmed up a lot, especially like being in the sun. I also stopped to get a little sushi burrito on the way home. I have been craving one of these so bad. Oh, I'm so excited. This is about to be so good. It's about to be so good. Anyways, let's debrief real fast while I'm turning on some TV. I'm probably going to watch Dance Moms or something. Are we shocked? No. But the time at Lotteray, I have to talk about it. It was literally such like a girlhood moment. So I walked into Lotteray and it was packed. Okay, like it's a very small location. Most of their locations are where it's hard to get like a seat inside of the restaurant. So I look and there's no seats available. I think there were like only four tables and they're like little. Like it's like it'll only sit two at most. Like I felt cramped and it was just me. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like I'll just get my croissant and my coffee and I'll sit outside because no one was sitting outside and it was in the sun. And I was like, it's beautiful day outside. Like I'll just sit it outside. So I order everything and then I see that a table had opened up and I was like, oh, perfect. Let me go over here and sit at this table. So I was waiting for my latte to be made. So I put like my phone in my bag there or whatever, got my latte, sat down. And the girl that was sitting next to me, she was like, hi, like I am so-and-so like nice to meet you. Like, what did you order? And I told her and she was like, oh, like, are you from here? And I'm like, I'm expecting her to say something because of like my accent or something I have. I'm like, oh no, I'm from Alabama. I moved here a few months ago. She was like, oh, I'm from Mexico. I just moved here a year ago. I was like, oh, how cool. So we start talking. And then there was another girl. It was like a little triangle, right? So the girl behind here, she starts saying something. I don't even know how she got brought into the conversation, but she was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And so then it was us three girls talking. The first girl I was speaking to, she was like, oh, what are y'all's names? And I was like, I'm Lauren. And this other girl's name was like, I'm Sophia. And then and this older woman next to us, she was like, oh, my granddaughter's name is Sophia. And we all just start talking, like in this small little area of this little pastry coffee shop in the Upper East Side. We're just talking, like having conversations, like uplifting each other. And it was just like, it was so nice. It was so nice to have that and just like be able to talk to people. So many people think that New Yorkers are mean or people here are just rude and they don't care about you or they judge you. And like, sure, those people do exist obviously, but 
but like those are just the moments in your life where you're just like it just makes you so happy like we all were just having normal conversation together hanging out drinking our coffee eating our croissants like it was so cute the older woman needed directions on like where she was going i had no idea where she was going but the girl behind us knew so she was like oh you take this street and then you turn left at central park and blah blah i was like yeah listen to her don't listen to me but it was just such a fun experience and it was such a fun outing it's such a beautiful day I got to enjoy and indulge in this full sushi burrito i don't know really why it has a bear on it i feel like it should be like a fish but whatever i haven't even taken a bite of my burrito and i just got this email Y'all remember when I was telling you how I wanted to go see the Mean Girls movie? I just got invited to a private screening of the Mean Girls movie before it even like gets put into theaters. So the day that this video goes live, I will be at a private screening of Mean Girls. I'm like, I literally just got the email notification. I was like, what? I was like, you're invited. I was like, what am I invited to? So I clicked it. <laughs> Taking a little pre-evening nap. You look so beautiful. Boop. Emery said we should do some self-care, so I am getting in the shower and doing a face mask tonight. I am so excited about this. I absolutely love my nighttime routine, just like relaxation. When Will gets home, normally that's when I like to wrap everything up. Besides today, because we are still vlogging and everything, but I'm about to hop in the shower, take my makeup off, just exfoliate my whole body, and also put on my new pajamas. Like, I don't think you understand how excited I am to wear these tonight. They're so cute. We are back and better than ever. I feel so good after that shower. Mm, it's just delightful. Now, time for skincare. It literally, you're probably thinking like it's 9 p.m. or something. No, it's 6.45. Literally, it's 6.45, but that's how I like it. <laughs> I like to be cozy up in this house. I didn't have any face masks besides one that got like really messy that I should have done beforehand. So instead for our self-care, we're putting on some under eye patches. These are from Patchology. I love them. And they're also like this mint color. So it's gonna look great. There's something about under eye patches that are just so soothing. Okay, you can kind of see the under eye patches on. Also going to put on a little bit of lip treatment. I've been loving this Clarins one. It's so good. It's like a little lip perfecter. And it's pink. So, of course, I would love it. I'm going to put on some body spray. This is the coconut from... Oh! That literally just sprayed like right on my skin. I got this on sale during Christmas and this smells so good. I just put on the body oil and the body butter all over my body and it feels so good. That's like my favorite combo right now. Pulling out everything else I need for my skincare in a minute. I am doing something new this upcoming week and I am so, so nervous about it. So 2020 girly girl said, would love to learn more about your hobbies and interests. And here's what I have to say. I am starting a new hobby and I am so nervous. So my class to start next week and I am starting ice skating and okay so I've never taken an ice skating lesson in my life when I was little I dreamed about being an ice skater I would have my mom bring me to like the mall ice skating rink and I would skate like during the mornings because I was homeschooled and I loved it like I swear to god like most of my personality as a child was formed out of the movie Ice Princess I love ice skating I love ice skaters that's like my favorite like Olympic sport to watch other than gymnastics but like for winter sports so I decided last year that I was going to start ice skating since it's more prevalent up north like you can't really find I mean you can find ice skating lessons in Alabama but it's not like easily accessible like they have so many different types of ice skating lessons here so I am starting ice skating lessons I got a used pair of ice skates on eBay and I'm just like I'm so nervous it's adult ice skating classes like for recreational things like just for like a fun little hobby so maybe I'll meet some friends I'm planning on like vlogging it and like posting more about it I've like this is kind of like my soft launch because I know not everyone makes it to like end of YouTube video so if you're here this is your sign to comment down the little ice skating emoji that's how I'll know you got to this part of the video but yeah I'm so excited I signed up for it in like October or November like it's been a while and so like I'm part of like the winter term so my classes are January through March I am so ecstatic 
It's gonna be so good. Another thing I am planning on getting involved in is knitting. Y'all are gonna be like, Lauren, you're such a grandma. No, like I literally want to start knitting. I got everything to start knitting. I don't know if anyone has like any recs on like how to start. Like I'm planning on just like maybe just looking up a YouTube video, right? Like that has to be it. But I bought like pink yarn and I'm planning on like, I wanna make like a little scarf. I was like, maybe a scarf would be easy because it's just like one long like rectangle. But yeah, I'm planning on doing that. Reading, I have been, I have been bad at reading. I have been doing so bad. At I was reading this Christmas book but I never finished it in time for Christmas so now I'm like do I really want to finish the book or do I just want to get a new book I feel like I just need to find like a good entertaining book and stick to it and just like require myself to do it like in the evenings or something I was doing good for a hot minute but then it just like slowly did not happen the way I thought it was going to but that's okay that's how some things are especially like reading like I literally just started getting back into reading after college in college I was required to read a bunch of mumbo gumbo things that I did not care to read about so now it's like reading for enjoyment it's still hard to bring myself to read for enjoyment because I feel like I forced myself to do it for so long if that makes sense but yeah that's a little bit about my hobbies and then also someone I think this would be a fun video someone commented and said we need a gossip girl day the met frozen yogurt shop shopping drinks rooftop like things like that Whitney said that and I really want to do that but people have mixed feelings about gossip girl either they're like I hate gossip girl like you're trying to be Blair Waldorf like you need to chill out which like Okay. And then some people are like, no, I love it. Like, I want to see, like, the Gossip Girl locations. That was another, I don't think I screenshotted it, so I don't know if I can find it. But someone else was like, I want you to go to, like, all the locations that were seen, like, in Gossip Girl and, like, do, like, a little tour. And I think that would be so much fun, but I don't know if y'all would enjoy it. So let me know if I should do that one day, too. But I'm going to let these sit on my eyes for a little bit longer and then do the rest of my skincare routine. but it's glass, basically ceramic, so it's fine. Have my chocolate covered strawberries and I did this in a cup just because I wanted to eat them right now I knew that those had to harden um and then I opened up my little macaron box because I cannot wait to eat these I'm like having such a sweet tooth tonight I don't know what's going on and then I made my little mocktail and it tastes so good mm. I've been in the mood for mocktails like every single night just like a silly little drink this is made with that orange poppy which I hate the orange poppy by itself like not my favorite flavor and then I squeezed like a little cutie in it and cherry tart 
tart juice. I drink cherry tart juice every single night, like whether it be by itself with a poppy, like mixed in a smoothie, like I literally drink it every single night. So it also makes it like this fun little, fun little color. Will came in and ate his dinner. He just ate like some like frozen heat up. I'm still full for my sushi burrito, hence why I have like my girl dinner right now. But I think we're going to watch a movie. Will is like finishing up playing a little game with his friend over there. So once he gets done, we're going to eat. It's now 8 p.m. Mmm, this is so good. This is exactly what I needed. I bought, well, Will bought strawberries the other day and I was going to do this because I had the chocolate. I was like, chocolate covered strawberries sounds so good. And so he got the strawberries and he brought them home and they had mold all over them. And I was like, maybe I can salvage a few. Mm -mm. There was no salvaging any of these strawberries, but this is like, oh, this is fixing my sweet tooth perfectly right now. Well, look at you, little Miss Prim and Proper over there. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Is the city kitty looking over her city? <laughs> you look so freaking cute. I mean, look at your little toe bean. So we found this game, and it's like, I don't even know, Will found it on TikTok, but it's through the... And it's like song quiz or something. I don't know, but it's been so fun. We've been playing it for the past two hours. Just ask your to play song quiz and it'll pop up and you can choose like however many players you need to and then you choose a genre or like a year or like playlist or whatever and you have to guess what the song and the artist is. It's been so much fun. Right now it is 1034 and we are heating up some pizza rolls. I found pizza rolls in the depths of my freezer and I was like okay well these definitely need to go because I don't know how long these last. So we're heating up some pizza rolls and we're making some truffle fries for like our late night snack. So looking forward to it. I've been trying to get through things in my my freezer so I don't have to throw things away like before they expire and just like to get like the freezer like cleaned out We just finished with our last round. It is 11.50 and we are going to bed. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I am so excited just to sleep tonight and sleep in for Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.